those 11 people, they are members of the school board and the city council, and they outlined their support for Strimling in this statement here today, saying they want him to be the next mayor of Portland. Uh, it's important that uh, the community knows that many of its elected officials are frustrated with the current leadership. With fellow city council members, Nick Mavadonis says he wants a change in the next election, endorsing Ethan Strimling a day after he announced his run. Many of us have talked um, that we were going to support Ethan and uh, felt it was important that we come out and show our support immediately after he announced his candidacy. Eleven out of the 17 elected city officers joined today's announcement. I believe that for Portland to thrive and grow for the next four years, we need to make a different leadership choice on November 3rd. That will be the second time Portland elects a mayor by ranking candidates instead of using a popular vote. And some say the move by city leaders may not make as big an impact with the voters. They might weigh endorsements less strongly than they normally would. Ron Schmidt is an associate professor of political science at USM, and he says the ranked vote is something we're still learning about. This, in a lot of ways, could signal what a number of people say they want. You know, less emphasis on the animals, the donkeys versus the elephants, and more on the actual policies that candidates endorse. Nine say they'll run. Mayor Michael Brennan is the only one who's turned in all of the paperwork and is certified. And he says he's happy with his track record. I feel very good about talking to voters about what's happened over the last four years, and I believe the city's better off now than it was four years ago. City Council Member Ed Suslovic is one of those nine people who has, withdraw has taken the paperwork out to run, but he says he's withdrawing his candidacy so that he can support Ethan Strimling. And we'll have more from the current city mayor, Michael Brennan, at 6. Live in Portland, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.